This is another song that dates from the wartime. Coward actually wrote this in 1944 on a train journey from Blomfontein to Pretoria when he was on one of his tours entertaining the troops in the field. It became a stalwart of his own cabaret shows. And it's another of his songs about a strong woman who lived life entirely on her own terms. And this one had the name Nina. <laughs> Nina from Argentina knew all the answers Although her relatives and friends were perfect dancers She swore she'd never dance a step until she died She said, I've seen too many movies And all they prove is too idiotic They all insist that South America is exotic Whereas it couldn't be more boring if we tried She added frankly that she hated The sound of soft guitars beside a still lagoon She also positively stated that she could not abide a southern moon. She said with most refreshing candor that she thought Carmen Miranda was subversive propaganda and should rapidly be shot. She said she didn't give a jot. If people quoted her or not, she refused to begin the begin when they requested it. And she made an embarrassing scene if anyone suggested it, for she detested it. Though no one ever could be keener than little Nina On quite a number of very eligible men who did the rumba When they proposed to her, she simply left them flat She said that love Should be impulsive, but not convulsive And syncopation had that discouraging effect on procreation And that she'd rather read a book, and that was that Nina from Argentina despised the tango although she never was a girl to let a man go she wouldn't sacrifice her principles for sex she looked with scorn on the gyrations of her relations who did the conga and said that if she had to stand it any longer she'd lose all dignity and bring their silly necks she added frankly she was blinded to all her over advertised romantic charms and then she got more bloody minded and told them where to put their tropic palms she said I hate to be pedantic but it drives me nearly frantic when I see that unromantic sycophantic lot of sluts forever wriggling their guts it drives me absolutely nuts she declined to begin the beginning for they besought her to and in language profane and obscene she cursed the man who taught her to she cursed Cole Porter too from this it's fairly clear that Nina, in her demeanour, grew so offensive that when the hatred of her friends grew too intensive, she thought she'd better beat it while she stood a chance. After some trials and tribulation, she reached the station and met a sailor who had acquired a wooden leg in Venezuela, and so she married him because he couldn't dance. There surely never could have been a more irritating girl than Nina. They never speak in Argentina of this degenerate bambina who had the luck to find romance but resolutely wouldn't dance. She wouldn't dance. Hola.